We're at American Top Team here in South Florida, Coconut Creek. And this is the tiny tornado, Tisha Torres. She's got a big fight coming up. UFC Fight Night Houston. You're going up against Beck Rawlings. How are you preparing? What do you think about this fight coming up, Tisha? Um, I believe this fight with Beck is going to be a great one. It's going to be pretty exciting. She's a striker like me, and I think we're both going to want to stand on our feet and bang. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to her bringing a fight to me. Now you have a 7-1 record, so the last fight you had, you're coming off a loss. Mm -hmm. That's your first loss for UFC. Has the training been different in any way? How are you mentally getting prepared for this one since it's a different type of fight after a loss? Yeah, um, I'm coming off a loss 10 months ago with Rose. It just motivated me more to get back in there. You know, they say that you learn more from a loss than you do from a win, and that's exactly true. Um, the one thing I did do different from this for this fight camp is that I did uh, most of my camp in Colorado Springs with um, Raquel's team, and I thought that was great. You know, I was able to see something uh, and learn through different coaches and get that high altitude training, so I'm looking forward to bringing a better version of myself cardio-wise and um, stylistic-wise with um, this new, uh, I guess, learning from the, her coaches. When you first learned that you were getting this fight, and it has been a little while since you fought last, so just then, too, what was going through your mind there, and just how excited were you to, okay, here's my chance to get back at this? Well, and I got the call to fight back. To be honest, I wasn't so excited on the opponent, but I was excited to have the chance to finally fight again. Um, but I think fighting her, it's going to be a good fight for the fans, but I think it'll be a winnable fight anywhere. I'm on the feet, doing jiu-jitsu, wrestling, and I think that's what I really need is a, a great solid win to come back and then from there to take on you know, a top 10, top 5 opponent. Why weren't you so excited about it? <laughs> I mean, Beck just never really liked me, unfortunately, and you know, we have our... We had our little drama on the show, and unfortunately it was more on her part than mine. I have nothing against her besides her saying things about me that weren't true, that weren't true. but uh, in the cage, my work speaks for itself, and I expect to go in there and win uh, any way possible. Teach her what are the goals as far as this fight and then going <laughs> forward? The goal for this fight is to win um, uh, anywhere. and. As far as going forward, I'd like to take on a top 10, top 5 opponent after a win over Beck. And then from there, I'd like to eventually make my way to a title shot later this year. The Tiny Tornado Tisha Torres UFC Fight Night Houston. That's February 4th.